हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल ईसी ऑन टिप्स आई एम समीक्षा श्रीवास्तव इन टुडेज लेक्चर आई विल बी टीचिंग डेरिवेशन ऑफ मॉस्फेट करंट दैट इज आईडी दैट वी कैन आल्सो से इट एज अ ग्रेजुअल चैनल अप्रॉक्सीमेशन सो इन दिस आई हैव कंसीडर्ड एन एन टाइप मॉस्फेट इन व्हिच दिस इज द सोर्स टर्मिनल दिस इज द ड्रेन टर्मिनल एंड दिस इज द गेट टर्मिनल ओके गेट इज ऑफ मेटल दिस इज ऑक्साइड एंड दिस इज द चैनल लेंथ ओके एंड हियर दिस voltage across the drain terminal is considered to be as vds and the voltage across the gate terminal is considered as vgs and the voltage across the source terminal we have grounded okay and we are going to observe this channel length from y equal to 0 to y equal to l right so here we have considered the two conditions now to form the channel we require two conditions okay which is VGS has to be greater than the threshold voltage. Threshold voltage is VTO, right? So VGS has to be greater than VTO, and VGD, that is the voltage across the gate terminal and the drain terminal, has to be greater than threshold voltage. Then only to form channel. Okay. So and VTO is the threshold voltage which we have assumed to be constant. Now. VCY here this is important term that is VCY that is a channel voltage that change with respect to y this is the channel voltage that will change with respect to y if we consider this VC at y equal to zero that is at the source terminal and source terminal is grounded hence this value of VCY equal to zero that will be equal to zero right and VC at this point what you will see that is the vds and hence its value is vds okay and now if we talk about the electric field component in y direction electric field component in y direction that will be definitely dominant as compared to the in x direction okay because here it is variation is more in the electric field as compared to in the x direction so the current will flow from y equal to 0 to y equal to 1 because electric field component is more dominant in the y direction now the charge density is considered that is represented by qi y and qi y is given by the formula that is minus cox vgs minus vcy minus vto okay and now if we calculate the net voltage across the source terminal that is the net voltage across the source terminal that is in this area what will be the net voltage VCY will be zero, okay. So this value will become zero. So now what will be the voltage will become as VGS minus VTO because this term is zero, right? And now net voltage at the drain terminal. At drain terminal, what you will observe this VDS, okay. So this VDS will come as like this, okay. So now if we consider this dy thickness. and dr be the incremental resistance okay so if we consider this is the source terminal this is the drain terminal here we will be having the gate terminal but we have considered the cross section area of here what you will observe if this is the dy uh, thickness of this channel length and this is the drain the drain side and this one is the source side okay and this is the width of this drain terminal or you can say the source terminal and this is the length of the channel length this is the channel length okay and this is the thickness now the current we have already observed that the current will flow from source to drain terminal now if we apply the ohms law okay so this dvc is equals to id into dr right so this is only the ohms law that is v is equals to ir so we have considered dvc that is equals to id into dr okay so if we place this formula of dr over here this formula you have to remember and this formula you have to remember to derive this whole equation okay so now this if you uh, place this dr value over here you will get this dvc okay now this id and dy we have considered on this lhs and all the denominator term we have cross multiplied with the dvc and we have just applied the integration at both the sides from 0 to l because this is varying from 0 to l and this is from 0 to vds so the current that will be 
id that will be id dot into l that is equals to because here we have no id into l for uh, this integration will give you id into l and this integration will give you w mu n and we will put this value of qiy from this part we know the value of qiy and we have placed everything in this equation and now if you will solve further you will get id is equals to mu n cox w by l and this is our constant term these two are our constant term so we have placed it over here and this is dvc minus vc into dvc okay this is variable term and this is a whole constant term so you can bring that bracket out so if you'll take that out you will get here vc only and here you will get vc squared divided by 2 because this is variable and the whole limit will be from 0 to vds okay and now if you will place this limit you will get this formula of id and this is the derivation of id okay and this formula you have to learn it's very important for the numerical point of view and now if you want to simplify it furthermore what you can do is you can assume that k dash be mu n cox what is mu n what is cox mu n is what it is the mobility of the electron and what is cox cox is the capacitance of oxide okay and this whole term we can consider it as k is it clear now id for the linear region if you have to calculate you can give the formula as as it is same this is the same formula over here written over here but for the saturation region what you can say that vds that can be equal to or greater to that is equals to vgs minus vto that is vds can be greater than equal to vgs minus vto so we have considered as to be equal sign and we have placed this formula over here okay so this vds we have replaced and this video we have replaced to vgs minus vto and we got this term is it clear now you have to remember this thing this is the very important thing for all the point of views that is the numerical one the derivation one this you have to remember that in the linear region this vds has to be less than vgs minus vto and in saturation region vds has to be greater than equal to vgs minus vto okay and so this is the whole derivation of id and now if I want to uh, give you a, in a graphical manner, so we can say that this is ID, okay, and this is our VDS. And if I draw this graph over here, and this be the A region, and this be the B region, and this be the C region, okay. So, what you can observe from this, A is what? A is the linear region. Okay. And this B is what? This is a saturation region. And what about C? C is the cutoff region. That is MOSFET will be off in the cutoff region. Linear region will be in occur in this condition and saturation will, region will occur in this condition. This is all from my side. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. That will motivate me to make more videos. Thank you.